everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny and I make fashion, lifestyle, and beauty related videos. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my Levi's denim collection. I have quite a few pieces here. I have a few pairs of long jeans, some shorts, a denim skirt, and a denim jacket. So if you are interested in seeing all the different styles, then just keep watching. So the first pair of jeans that I have are probably one of the most popular styles from Levi's and it is the 501 stretch skinnies. And these are one of the really classic vintage feeling jeans. They are made of 99% cotton and 1% elastane. And these ones in particular are in a size 25 waist and a 28 leg length. Um, these are in a medium wash. They're not destroyed at all, but they do have a little bit of fading down the center of the thigh and a little bit of subtle whiskering um, up at the top of the thigh area. These are a high rise jean and they are fitted throughout the waist and the bum and really throughout the leg, especially on me. I think that these are a little bit tight on me, but they still look really nice as a classic skinny pair of jeans. They do have a button closure. As you can see here, there are five buttons and they also have the really classic Levi's patch on the back and the little tiny red tag also on the back. I will say that these jeans are not the most comfortable jeans that I have. I honestly don't wear them very often, but I do love the look of them. I think that they're a really great classic pair of Levi's jeans and they fit really well. They're a really nice structured jean that I know is gonna last for ages. The second pair of jeans that I have from Levi's are the 721 high rise skinny jeans. And I have them in this classic dark blue wash. Again, they're not destroyed, similar to the previous pair, but they do have a little bit of fading and whiskering in the thigh area. And these jeans are high rise, like I said, but they don't have the button closure. They actually have a zipper closure and one button at the top. Um, they still, however, have the really classic Levi's patches in the back, the little red tag as well as the, uh, the leather tag here. And this is in a size 26 and the leg length is also a 28. So the same as the previous pair. And I love this pair for its stretch. These pair of jeans are really comfortable. They're made of 60% cotton, 23% viscose, 16% polyester, and 1% elastane, which makes these a lot more comfortable. They're definitely stretchier than the previous ones. They're also a bit thinner, so a little bit more of a jegging feeling kind of jean, but honestly, that's perfect for me. It makes them so much more wearable and I get much more wear out of these. I like to wear these on nice dinners out when I'm wearing sandals or heel sandals. I think that these look really, really nice. I love the length right above my ankle. And I also love that they're not super duper skin tight at the calf area. Um, it makes it a little bit more breathable, I think. And overall, a great pair of jeans. The final pair of long jeans that I have in my Levi's collection are the 720 high rise super skinny jeans. I have them in this dark wash and they are a size 25. However, the leg length for this pair is a size 30. The reason I decided to get this pair of jeans, which actually is pretty similar to the high rise skinny that I just showed you guys, is because this one, I wanted a pair that was slightly longer, slightly more fitted, and also slightly tighter around the ankle so that when I would wear this in the winter time underneath boots, it would be super easy to tuck them under really nice and sleek and neatly. So these ones are also super comfortable, stretchy. They're high rise, like I said. Similar to the previous pair, these ones are a zipper closure and super comfortable. 
definitely tight on me, but that's what I wanted for this kind of pair where I knew I was gonna pair these jeans with oversized sweaters and coats and knee-high boots and things like that. These jeans are made of 85% cotton, 13% polyester, and 2% elastane. So overall, they feel almost exactly the same as the previous pair and I love them. Right. So moving on to my denim shorts. The first pair of denim shorts that I have from Levi's are these 501 shorts in a medium wash. They have a cut off but rolled hem at the bottom and they have a button fly. This pair in particular is not high rise. It's just the regular medium rise 501 shorts. If you look on their website, you have to be a little bit careful to see in the description what the rise of the shorts are if you're interested in high rise, but these ones are a medium rise. Still come up almost to my belly button, but they are definitely short shorts. I really love them for the wash and the whiskering, and that's why I purchased them. But to be honest, I don't wear these a whole lot anymore because they are just so short. These are 100% cotton and a size 25. And I will say that they did stretch out quite a bit from like the first time that I tried them on. So be aware of that if you're trying these on and maybe you wanna buy them and take them home. I recommend trying them with the tags on for about an hour to see if the size is actually your right size or possibly a little bit too big for you. All right, so the next pair of denim shorts that I have are the 501 high rise cutoff shorts. And I have the first pair in this medium light color, also cut off style at the bottom with the fraying detail. And this short in particular has a five button closure as opposed to the four button closure of the previous one, which was a mid rise. So these ones do come up high rise. This pair in particular is a size 25 also. It fits me pretty well. However, similar to the previous pair, I don't wear these very much because they do come up really short on me and I feel a little bit uncomfortable pulling them down all the time, but they are a really great beach cover up, super casual short. For the summertime, I love them. This pair is also 100% cotton and stretched out just a little bit after the first hour or so of wearing it. All right, next I have another pair of High Rise 501 denim shorts, which are exactly the same as the previous pair. However, these ones are in a slightly lighter denim wash. As you can see, they also have the frayed edge detail, the five button closure, these are also 100% cotton and in a size 25. They also have the very classic Levi's tab and the little red Levi's tag on the back pocket like every other pair that I've showed you guys today. And overall, I love the wash of this short. I find these so comfortable and really worn in feeling. I don't know if something about this wash makes it feel really old, like it's been mine for a decade and I love the look of them. However, once again, these are just a little too short for my liking on an everyday basis. So I reserve these more for beach days, things that are super casual, festivals, where I don't have to feel uncomfortable with short, short shorts. The next item that I have from Levi's is a denim mini skirt. And this one is in a high rise, mid-length it's in a light to medium wash and it doesn't have any major distressing but does have again some fading and whiskering along the pocket and thigh area it also has the tabs in the back like the other jeans i showed and this is in a size 24 and 100 percent cotton i got these in a size 24 because it's a little bit loose around the butt and the thigh area. And if I were to size up in a 25, it wouldn't be as fitted as I would want it to be in that area. So it is a little bit tight around my waist, but because it's a skirt, you can kind of hike it up as much as you want to really reach the small of your waist. Or if it's a little big, you can just pull it down a little bit. And I think that this is such a classic for the summertime 
For me, this is the summer equivalent of wearing jeans to go out at night. I think that they're really cute. They might be a little bit vintage for some people, but I love a classic denim skirt. My next Levi's piece is my favorite Levi's item in my whole collection. It's the one that I wear more often than anything else. I wear it on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis, and it is this pair of 501 denim shorts. And you're probably thinking, what another pair of 501 denim shorts yes <laughs> i was searching for the perfect one because these ones are slightly longer than the others they're actually quite a bit longer if i unroll the hems here but i keep them rolled up double and they're still like just a little longer than the other shorts which make them feel so much more comfortable and I feel so much more comfortable wearing them. I just feel more appropriate in more settings wearing a slightly longer pair of shorts. Now, these ones are also the 501 shorts. However, they are the long length 501 shorts. And these technically are a medium rise. They have a four button closure, whereas some of the other ones I showed you, the high rise ones have a five button closure, but I have a pretty small torso and because the length of the pant on these shorts are a little bit longer, I can get away with hiking them up basically to my belly button and I feel like they're so cute, they're so comfortable. These are actually in a size 26, which is a size above from the other shorts, but these were the most comfortable pair for me and these are just my go-to. I, I wear these pretty much every single day with a white t-shirt as you will see in the cutouts and I love them. As you can see, they are a little bit destroyed. They're kind of a medium light wash with some fraying. Sometimes I kind of hide the frays at the bottom, but sometimes I let them show. But overall, highly recommend this short. I find them so, so comfortable and cute. All right, so finally, we're at the last item in my Levi's collection, and it's another one of my favorites from Levi's, and it is the classic denim jacket. This is as classic as it gets when it comes to denim jackets. It's a really beautiful, very slightly distressed medium wash color. I got it in the size small, which I think is perfect. It's not oversized, it's not super tight. I wear this so frequently. Living in Florida, this is essentially my winter jacket. It looks so cute over dresses for going out at night. It looks cute during the daytime as well with jeans as a casual outfit. And overall, I think this one is such, such a classic that I know I'm gonna have in my collection for years, if not decades. This jacket is made of 99% cotton and 1% elastane, which you can actually feel ever so slightly. There's a little bit of stretch, which I think makes it that much more comfortable and easy to layer with things. So overall, love this jacket. Couldn't recommend it enough.